Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create new camera tool. Go to new and camera. Don't change any settings, click OK. Click OK again. Select all these layers and click toggle switch modes and click this checkbox for 3d layers and let's change quality quarter okay so let's change view one and select background let's press p and move to back z axis and select this layer let's press p and move to back these coffee beams and select these product and stickers let's right mouse pre compass add name product click ok let's click checkbox for 3d composition open composition select these layers and click for on 3d close composition select this product and press p let's move the back okay so in this time let's change view active camera and select this background let's press s change scale okay and select this product layer press s change scale and put down like this so select this layer one press s and change scale like this Okay, select this camera one. Let's right mouse, go to camera and create orbit node for camera movements. And for move the anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Click station tool, select camera orbit node, press P and make new passing Q frame. And go to two second. Let's zoom to object like this. And enable title action save. Let's move to right a little bit for object to center and a little bit up. Okay, and let's go to four seconds. Select first G frame. Let's copy paste for loop animation and press N. Select G frames. Make easy or click F9 and let's say animation. Okay, so select two frames, go to graph editor and select this middle two frame, move to left and move to right. Let's preview again. Okay, very nice. And in this time, let's select this layer one and press S, chain scale and control D for duplicate. Let's press P and move to back with the axis and let's see okay let's select layer 2 right mouse and go to flip horizontal press s chain scale let's say again okay and select the layer 2 control d again for duplicate press p and move to back like this okay not bad and select this layer 1 press S let's change scale more and layer 2 press S change scale a little bit like this okay so in this time select this layer 3 and go to back let's press P make new pass in Q-frame and go to here let's change coffee beans like this and go to last second select first Q-frame copy pass for dynamic animation select Q-frames make easy let's say again okay not bad and select this layer 3 let's select Q-frames 
and select middle chip frame. Let's move to right and go to graph editor. Select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Let's preview animation again. Okay, very nice. And select two frames. Let's move right a little bit. And these two frames move right. Okay, so back to two frames. And select these layers like this. And press R. Open rotation. Go to first second. And make Z rotation. Go to middle. Change rotations. Let's select the layer 3, chain rotation 20 and layer 2, let's chain rotation 25 and layer 1, 35. Let's see. Okay, nice. And go to last two frame. Select first two frames, copy pass. And this copy pass and layer 1 copy pass. Okay, and select two frames, make easy. Okay, let's preview animation. Okay, not bad. And select these coffee bean layers. Let's close settings. And select this product compensation. Let's go to middle. And control D for duplicate. Press R. Change. Z rotation Let's change minus 180 and move it down. Let's move to here and move to front a little bit. Move it down for reflection and select product 2. Let's change name reflection and press T. Open opacity, change opacity like this. Okay, let's see. So, in this time, select a reflection and go to mask. And let's make mask like this. Click inverted. And open mask 1. Change feather like this for realistic reflection. Let's see. Okay, we can change expansion like this. Okay, so in this time select a reflection and press T. Go to middle, make opacity Q frame, go to back here and change opacity zero. Select first few frame, move to the left, select few frames and make easy. Okay, this more natural. And again, let's create new opacity frame. Go to here, change zero and move right this keyframe. frame. So open product conversation and select this product let's go to first second Control d for duplicate select sticker move the inside to product layers click toggle switch mode and change non to alpha matte product 2 select sticker press p make new pattern q frame and move to left and go to two second let's move to right like this Go to 4 seconds, select first few frame, copy pass. Make two frames easy. And go to graph editor. Select this graph, let's move to left and this move to right. Okay, let's press N for select work area. Let's animation. Okay, so let's go to FX presses, search FX sweep. Select CC light sweep. Let's use for product layer and change direction 0 and move to left go to first second make new center two frame go to middle and move to right light go to last two frame 
Let's press U for C active keyframe, select this first light keyframe, copy and paste. Make keyframes easy. Go to graph editor, select this middle keyframe, move to left and move to right. Let's see. Okay, nice. So back to main composition. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.